Hi everyone. So today we are going to do, today is our hip stability mobility focus. Okay. Um, this is going to be the shorter version though. Okay. We're going to have a longer one. If you have more time, this is when we just need to squeeze some practice in there. So, okay. This video, like I said before, we're doing hips, mobility and stability, okay? So go ahead and just come to a seated position, but keep your legs bent, okay? So we're gonna bring them up bent. Our arms are behind us, our hands are pointing just behind us, okay? This is comfortable, comfortable seat here, okay? From here, we're just gonna kinda of take our knees, let's drop them over to the right, them back up, drop them over to the left, okay? If you want, you can walk your feet out and just make this a little bit wider stance here. Totally your choice, okay? So we're talking mobility, stability today, okay? All right, a couple more each side, just just getting some range of motion going, okay? All right, when you're ready, let's take it all the way down to the mat, okay? Go ahead and lower down. We're gonna set up for bridge pose. If you know how to do it, go ahead. If you want some cues, walk your feet into your bum, okay? Press your head into the mat. As you're doing that, pick up your shoulders and lower them down, okay? Arms straight up, make a fist, pull your elbows into the right by your chest bone, okay? Then you lower your hands down and press them to the mat, okay? Belly button is in and up. We're just gonna lift up, okay? Couple breaths here. Pick up our heels and start to lower down. Okay, take that right leg, cross it, your your ankle at your left knee, okay? That space you made, put your hands through there. Grab the back, and release your fingers behind your back part of your left thigh, okay? And then just bring it in towards you, okay? Let's enjoy this figure four. Flex your feet so your toes are pointing to your shins. As we're doing this, we can, you know, mindful breathing, pay attention to our breaths. Our inhales, our exhales. Because normally we, we don't think about it, right? We're just breathing. <laughs> this is good, right? That's what we want. <laughs> but sometimes it's good to have some mindful breath work. You can work on your inhale a little bit longer, maybe your exhale a little bit longer. Reach up, hands and feet reach the sky. You can do some twists with your feet, twists with your wrists, hug it in. Give yourself a hug, okay? Other side, left ankle goes to the top of right leg. Put, put your hands through that hole that you made. Don't put it on top of your knee and crank it in. But your knee won't like that. <laughs> Flex your toes toward your shins. As we're here, we can also start to think about our intention for the practice. So when we talk about, when we talk about stability, what is that, right? Stability is endurance, right? Stability is participation. In yoga, we call it tapas or doing the work. So participation, right? Uh, yoga is about you know, bringing these concepts that we do with our body on the mat and applying it to real life off the bat. So this is great. Stability is endurance, it's participation, it's bending so we don't break, essentially, right? Like, who doesn't need that in life? <laughs> that's like a, that's a top one. <laughs> we gotta learn to bend so we don't break, so. 
Same with uh, the work we do on the mat. We can take that off the mat. All right, reach up. Twist it out, twist your ankles out. Give yourself a hug. All right, let's meet up. So roll to the side, let's get there gently. Roll to the side, press up. Let's meet up in tabletop, okay? Wrists under shoulders, knees under hip. Bend your elbows and start to press the mat away. You're gonna round your back, look to your knees, and then drop your belly down, drop the lower hip parts of your rib down, lower your back, okay? So we're talking about mobility and stability of the hip. We gotta work what's above it and below it. So we gotta work our knees, we gotta work our core, okay? So you know what that means. We gotta plank it out. <laughs> so extend your right leg back, extend your left leg back, press the mat away, belly button is in and up. Heels are pointing to whatever's behind you, okay? Inhale. Exhale. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, belly button in and up, five, four, three, two, one. Let's roll back to down dog. Press it out. All right, right leg extends back behind you. Point your toe, your hips are still the same height from the floor, each hip, okay? Bend your right knee, start to bring it in. As you do that, come on the tippy toe of your left foot, press yourself forward, plant that right foot in between your hands, okay? Lower that left leg back. We're gonna set up, come into low lunge here. Sink into it, drop your shoulders down. Hip point of your right hip is pulling back to what's behind you, okay? Knee is over ankle. If it, if it wants to go out a little bit, you're gonna have to engage that muscle to bring it in, okay? Hands extend up. If that's too tight on your shoulders, you can take them out a little bit wider, do cactus, prayer pose, at the hip. Your call. All right, let your hands down. Let's just roll our bum back towards our heel and then just roll up on the heel of this front foot and then flex our toes so our toes point to our shin. Come up on our tippy fingers. Back is flat. Let's do a nice half monkey here. All right, walk it forward, tuck that left toe, lift up that left leg. We're gonna take our right leg back, but we're not gonna set it down, okay? Extend it back, three-legged plank, belly button is in and up, and then we can set it down and roll back to down dog. All right, we're gonna do a low lunge on the other side. Extend your left foot back, point your toe, bend your knee, Come up on the tippy toe of your right, push yourself forward, plant that left leg. Drop your right knee down, right foot down. Come up to low lunge, other side, sink into it. Start to press your shoulder blades down, your back, okay? That will just make space between your ears and your shoulders. Belly button is in and up. Again, we're drawing that hip point of that left knee back while the left knee is straight forward and over our ankle, okay? All right, let your hands down, half monkey. Back is flat, we're on our tippy fingers here. Okay. All right. Walk it forward. Again, we're gonna tuck that right toe, lift that right leg up, and then we're just gonna, left leg goes back, but we're just gonna take a three-legged. Okay, and then we can do down dog. All right, from here, press your hands on the mat. Walk your hands to your feet. We're gonna bend our knees a lot. Rest our belly on top of our thighs, and then we're just gonna reach up or keep our hands at um, our heart center prayer pose for chair pose, okay? 
squatting down here in chair, building strength in those legs, right? We need it to help support our hips. From here, make your hands wide, bring them back behind you. So palms are facing each other behind you. Come up on your tippy toes, your divers, okay? Look down, bring your arms up a little bit more. Back to chair, back to diver. Doing the work here. This is the participation part, right? This is the tapas. <laughs> Building heat. Again, let's rotate. Divers. One more time. Rise up. Shake out those legs. Ooh. Shake them out. Reach up. Hands to heart center. Okay. Step it forward. Left leg goes forward. We're going to come into warrior one. Warrior one feet. Okay. Press into this here. Pick up, imagine there's a string on this back leg. You're gonna lift it up just to engage the outer part of that thigh, okay? Left knee is bent over ankle. Hip point of left knee is pulling back. Right hand goes to the top of the left thigh just to adjust the upper torso. Hips are still a little bit to the side of the left knee, okay? Now, this back foot can be wider or closer to this front, depending on how it feels to your hips, okay? So you might need to play with that for a minute, okay? And you can bend this knee if you need a little bit less pressure maybe on your low back, okay? L less in the bend, I guess. We just don't want it to go past the ankle. It can be over the ankle, behind it. We just don't want it to go past it, okay? All right. Warrior one. Your shoulders down. All right. From here, come up. Let's just pick up our back foot and just rotate on the ball or the heel of our back foot. And then we're going to come into warrior two legs, okay? So bend down. You can adjust your feet to get these. So the, the heel of your front foot should intersect the arc of the back. Reach up. You're going to Imagine there's a string pulling that back leg up, pressing into the outer part of your back foot, okay? Sink into that, reach forward. Okay, reach a little bit more forward and then reverse your warrior. And then bend that left arm. Let it rest on that bent leg and then reach your right arm up. Reach, reach, reach. Get in that side body. You can pull it back a little bit. All right, come up. We're going to point our feet. So adjust your feet. So now they're 45, okay? Pointing forward, 45. We'll squat down on goddess, okay? Again, working on strengthening. All right, rise up. Now, let's take it and bring, let's step to this, the top part, so you're on the back part of your mat, okay? And then <clears throat> we're gonna reach up. So interlace our fingers, press up, okay? Bring our arms down by our side. Bend our knees, forward fold, rise up, okay? and then we're gonna squat, do our chair again, okay? Chair, diver, chair, diver, chair, diver, okay? And then rise up, okay? Now, step it wide, back to goddess again. Sink it down. All right, rise up. Now, let's do our little warrior sequence on the other side, okay? So our right foot, before our left foot was forward, so this time our right foot's gonna be forward, okay? So adjust your feet how you want them. Reach up, sink into that. Pay attention to that knee over the ankle and not swaying in or out, okay?
All right, straighten that leg. Let's adjust our feet so we can come into warrior two legs here. I like to stop and pick it up. I don't like to crank and rotate on my feet. Let's, let's just take a minute, pick them up. All right, reach it out. All right, reach forward, reverse our warrior, bend that arm, let it rest, reach up and over with the left hand now. All right, come back here. Let's go back to goddess, squat it out, and then reach up. Okay, now we're gonna take it back to the top of the mat here. All right, bend our knees, forward fold. Come to flat back. Let's do uh, another chair. <laughs> another diver. Another chair. This time, let's plant our hands down. Extend it back to plank, okay? Belly bends in and up. Drop our knees down from here. Let's take this right leg. Now, you can do figure four on your back if you don't like pigeon, okay? Figure, let me, let's go through pigeon here. So take the right leg, draw it right behind your right wrist, kick it over so it's like a 45, and then pick up that, pick, tuck your left toe, pick up your left knee, and then just walk it back, okay? So this is your pigeon. Belly button's in and up. You're pulling that left hip back a little bit, okay? And then you can sink down into it here. Now, if you don't like this, you figure four on your back, which I'll show you show you how to do it. If you like it, stay there. Okay. Uh, figure four, you just take that <laughs> right ankle over your left, put it right there, that space. Okay. Pull it in. Okay. Got it. We've done that. So should be good. Okay. Go back in pigeon here. Okay. If Sink into that here for a minute. All right. You're ready to come out of that tuck. Tuck that toe. Swing that foot. Bring it back. Let's take it left side now. Take it back and then catch it. If you're on your back, switch your legs. Lift up that right hip, okay? Sometimes people will roll up like a blanket or put a block under there. It can help support it. Okay, tuck that toe, walk yourself up. Okay, swing that left leg back, bring it back. All right, let's sit back into a nice child's pose here. All right, come back up. Let's meet you on your backs. Okay. Come back down. Go ahead. Reach your legs straight up. Right knee crosses over left. Grab your handlebars. Handlebar it out, okay? Ride your bike. Flex your toes. Make some space between your head your ears and your shoulder, okay? So press your head into the mat, lower your shoulders down. Reach up, left knee on top of right knee, grab your handlebars. Flex your feet. All right, reach it up, peace finger, grab your big toes, pull it down, happy baby. Okay. I decide here. If you want, you can kind of pull in one side. So for me, this right side, and I can straighten my left. I don't know if that feels nice. And then switch sides. Pull in one, straighten the other. All right, hug it in. We'll do a short savasana here. 
Extend your legs out. Let everything melt. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Stay in Shavasana if you want to. If not, if you're ready to come out, hug your knees into your chest. Nice deep breath, roll to the side. Come up. All right, thank you for this short mobility stability practice. Remembering, <laughs> right? What is, what is stability? endurance, participation, and bending so we don't break. So may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free from suffering. May you continue to be awesome. And may you progress. Thank you so much. All right. Have a great day. Bye.